What is it that has brought this big family of strangers together? Was it war? Yes, sir! It has awakened the giant. It has put the weapons of this war back in the hands of you, the young, and therefore, the powerful. All of you that have never been listened to before and have seen your family killed, you now have something that stands for you. Victory! 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 And that was a scene from the new film Beasts of No Nation, starring Idris Elba and Abraham Attad, directed by Kerry Fukunaga. The Netflix-acquired movie takes an unflinching look at the life of a child soldier in an unnamed African country. And joining us now to discuss is Uzo Iwala, author of the best-selling book on which the film is based. Uzo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. As the author of the book, what do you think of the film version? I think it's a brilliant film. I mean, it's it's a very amazing thing to see, you know, work that you've put together now interpreted by someone else, and then to see it on the big screen, you know, with with these characters that have been in your head brought to life is is just, you know, it's a fabulous experience. Speaking of the characters, Idris Elba gives such a spectacular performance. He blew me away as the Comandante. There he is. He was almost this Fagin-like character on evil steroids, but yet he's also so seductive, which makes him so fascinating. Did you write that character with Fagin in mind? So, well, I mean, I think that the idea of the Commandant was to have someone who both, you know, at the same time showed the, you know, just was a complex character altogether, that you don't want to create characters that are too stock, too, too evil, because then people can't, um, can't relate to them, and it doesn't drive your message home as well. And I think as Carrie was adapting the book for the film, I think that really came through. And then, of course, you have a, a talent like Idris Elba playing the Commandant, somebody who whose acting skills you know almost unrivaled in our time and you you just see that really come to life but i think also really interesting is is um, abraham atta who played Ago. Oh, absolutely. Again, you know, the child so, at the center of the film, of the, the child film. soldier, yes. Exactly. And his, his, I mean, he's never acted before, but, you know, watching him, um, watching his performance, watching how he handled the material, I mean, you, you can just see there's, there's genius. There. It was a stunning performance. And tell us how you came up with the idea for the book, because you were born and raised in Nigeria, but had a happy, stable family life, correct? Right. So I was, actually, I was actually born in Washington, D.C. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we grew up going back to Nigeria quite okay. a bit. Um, and the, the idea for the book actually came from reading about Sierra Leone in Liberia, which when I was in high school at the time were, were um, sort of in the midst of these horrible civil wars. Um, and I think for me it was, it was a, a way to, to, to try and understand um, what people at, at the time my age, when I was 14, when I first read, um, were going through. And then, you know, years later when I was in college, I was able to, to write a creative thesis at Harvard University. Um, and, you know, that, those initial stories um, that I had sketched when I was 14 now became the base material for this book. But, you know, f I, I, I sort of um, interact with the world by writing. That's how I process some of the things I see. And I think that's kind of what this came out with, it, a, a real desire to understand another person's lived experience. And so the character of Agu is somewhat of a composite based on right. your research? So, yeah, based on research that I did, um, speaking with people, talking to folks about um, the Nigerian Civil War of the 1960s um, through 70. Um, and then, of course, a lot of research I had done um, reading Amnesty International reports, Human Rights Watch reports, um, you know, biographies of former child soldiers. Yeah, so he's a composite of all those things, but to, to create this character that ex that's experiencing this, this situation, but, you know, at the same time showing that there is real humanity involved um, in this. And it's not just you know, as, as we tend to hear sometimes savages running around or whatever, that these are people and that we can relate to these people. Oh, absolutely. And this, you know, this poor child, your heart goes out to this child who is forced to commit these horrible acts. Can there be peace? Can there be redemption for these children at the end? I think most definitely. And that's one of the things that the book and the movie does try to show, that, you know, there is so much work that has been put into rehabilitating and reintegrating former child soldiers into society, and that it's definitely not a lost cause. Right. There's a lot of research that has been done by folks up at Harvard University, um, uh, a former mentor of mine, Teresa Betancourt, has done a lot of work on this. Um, you've got uh, organizations like IRC and Mercy Corps who have really put a lot of work into creating programs that help to reintegrate child soldiers into society. Because you wrote this book about 10 years ago. So have you seen improvement since then? I think if you look across the continent of Africa where you've had these different integration programs, if you think about places like Sierra Leone or Liberia, you can record a lot of success. Right. Um, one of the major things that um, a lot of people talk about is the importance of education in bringing people back into society and making people productive. And I think, you know, again, a lot of the research shows that that's extremely important. A lot of the work that's been done has been done around that. Right. Uzu, thank you so much. You're an incredibly accomplished person, not only a best-selling author, but a doctor, but that's a conversation for another time. Thank you so much for Thank being with for us today.